Ooh, this game can end serious. Oh my god. Oh, well. Wow. Wow. Welcome to Mr. Hop's Playhouse. Any audio? No audio? No? There, there's some sounds. Oh, I think we're at 1080p already. We can't crank it up anymore. Damn. Okay. Oh. There it is. Okay, so it looked like a game with lots of potential. As you can tell, Mr. Hops is a very spooky bunny. Bunnies, you try to act, to act, try to act scary. The best thing you can do is fuck them in the ass. Fuck, fuck them to death. And they won't be so scary anymore. Yeah, yeah, fucking rabbits. Whatever. What? What? Whatever. Let's just get into the game and see what. Move, jump. Okay, we're using the WASD keys. Run, shift to run. E to pick up. Okay. And when I say something like that, remember, it's just with furry logic, not real rabbits. Don't fucking think like that. Dad, can you take Mr. Hop tonight? I couldn't read the rest of it. Don't be silly, Ruby. What would Nana think of you saying that? She made him. Just well, Nana is a fucking witch. I'll leave you, you need, leave your nightlight, try to get some sleep. How about you listen to your fucking kid and take fucking cursed fucking rabbit away, eh? Mom, dad. What you do is you buy a bad dragon dildo, stand the T-Rex, and then you shove it so far up that rabbit's ass, it will not be moving. It <laughs> just, just, just imagine, just imagine like a Toy Story situation. And they can't move when you're looking at them, except for obviously this rabbit's gonna move however the fuck it wants. It's like she melts into pudding. Uh, but yeah, just shove the bad dragon dildo up that rabbit's ass. It won't, it won't be able to move. Trust me. It, 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 the dildo will be like up the rabbit's throat. The, the toy rabbit's throat. And it won't be able to move. The nightmare will be over. The girl can go to sleep. Toys make noise. Ah, the detail and the quality and the pixels, pretty cool. If only Ruby had listened to her parents and tidied her toys. So I jump. Uh oh. How do I hide? Am I gonna pick it up, right? No, I just had to jump over, okay. Yeah. <sighs> Almost reminds me of fucking Home Alone. What? Ow! <laughs> Footsteps can be deafening. Make sure it's completely safe before coming out of hiding. How do I go out of hiding? Eh. Eh. <laughs> How do I go into hiding, though? Use headphones and listen carefully to your surroundings. Visible! What does it mean by... What does it mean by visible? That means if I make noise, I'm dead? Or just... Well, we're just moving to the next room. Thank you, bye. Visible. Oh, is it like Garfield? Oh, I think it's like, um, Lasagna Boy. Or it's like, if it passes by, it can kill you. But it just hasn't... Yeah, well, we're not going that way, obviously. There. Who the fuck? Oh. Stand still, regain your stamina. I want to see if its eyes moves toward the doll. No? Smiley creepy. I don't want to risk going that way. Its eyes are there. It makes me think that if I do go in front of it, it will kill me. And that I have to go this way first. Oh, hey, mom and dad are dead. Okay. This this must be a bad dream. 
Make your way back to bed. Oh, let's keep going. No, I can't go in this door. Okay, sure. Must be for later, I guess. It's nothing, nothing, nothing quite like a Nico video where I talk about sexual things, though. About bad dragon dildos, especially. Am I right? Am I right? I don't know. Oh, there's the rabbit. Mr. Hop. If I shove the stand the T-Rex bad dragon... Oh, leave the house. If I shove the bad dragon T-Rex dildo up his ass, I mean, that wouldn't even reach his throat. So, I mean, he might still be able to move. He'd just be an incredible amount of pain. Oh god. Okay, it is like lasagna boy like I thought. Man. Time to sleep. The end. Oh. Jesus Christ. The sleep tight, Ruby insisted was all bad dream went back to bed. Maybe that was a mistake. Cursed eyes, Jesus Christ, look at these multiple endings. Oh, nice. No! Mm hmm. I want to see what's in the parents' room. Or go this way. That's new. Press down a duck behind. Oh, okay. If there's multiple endings, I want to see it all. I'm going to have to check the game store. I'm going to have to see. Hmm. So we can go in the attic, and we can go in the basement now. Okay. I'm going to check the game store page, though, very quickly. I want to see if they actually tell me how many endings there are. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, Mechanics Inspired by Lasagna Boy, by tri uh, Trashy Rascal Studios. I knew it. Interesting. I'll see if anyone else has posted about endings then. Multiple endings on the game. I think there are three, but I only managed to find two. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to presume one of the endings is dying. So if I got one of the endings and it respawned me... Uh back at a checkpoint. Let's try to get a death ending. What you got, rabbit? What you got? What you got? What you got? Huh? Huh? I'll just die to the rabbit, see if it's an ending. He's just standing right there. What, what you got? 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 Is it an ending or is it just death? Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Yeah, it's interesting mechanics, though. Oh, this is the bedroom. So, oh. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to find multiple endings, but for now, I want to go to the... Like, going down in the basement is the easiest thing, obviously. But going to the left... Let's do this, hang on. I have to listen? He's... Yeah. Okay. I'll go in the attic to see what's up there. The eyes must have been fake. But that would mean, what if I went in the attic? Or didn't even go into the parents' bedroom. Oh! Oh, motherfucker! I think I tripped on the toys very, very briefly. Interesting. Okay, but yeah, well, we'd have to imagine what if we didn't look in the parents' room. And we had, um... Hmm. The, the eyes are missing, though. Wait, that's it? What? But then the eyes.
Hmm. The attic is limited. But the eyes were always there, and now they're not. So it must have been the rabbit in the attic, but... Curious. Anyways, it'll make me curious to know what if I went in the basement or the attic fully before I saw the murder of the parents, or at least the blood of the parents. Mm. Mm. Oh, gee. Mm. I accidentally jumped. <laughs> Fantastic. But the game is very forgiving. It's very forgiving, but I'm also <sighs> very impatient. Wait, why is there a hand here? Why? What? Like I can pick that up at some point? What? Confusing. Wait, what? What? I doubt I can just leave like that, but... <laughs> Mom? Okay. Find Ruby's... Some doors requires a key. Anniversary, 18th of April. Hmm. So the parents' room, the kitchen, and the front door. Oh, you're kidding me. Wait, what? So where the fuck's the key? I'm gonna imagine the couch over here, then. Like, underneath that towel. Actually, you know what? How about the coat? Oh. Never mind. Okay, maybe this is for the kitchen. If it's for the parents' bedroom, that'd be kind of a pain in the ass. Oh. Alright, the basement basement. Well, I don't trust this at all. Hello. Tape recorder. A sticky note attached reads, Under the mirror. Under the... Fine tapes. September 8th, Jenna, Ruby, and I went to see Esther yesterday. Ruby always loves seeing her grandmother. Nana, she calls her. She's not been doing so well in recent months. We went around the other weekend, and she was just staring at the wall. We had to really shake her to snap her out of it, and she... Then she was just fine, like nothing had happened. God knows how long she'd been doing that for. We booked her in for a doctor's appointment. I'm supposed to be recording ideas for a new novel. Hold any key. Huh. I don't think I have to go backwards to like the original front door fucking area. Oh, hey, he has no eyes now. Oh, God. Uh, that, the other area with the, the, uh, the other area with the mirror was where I just fucking came from. So the game's wanting me to backtrack. Which is one of the things I hated about the Zagna boy. Here we go. September 14th. Jen and I stopped to see Esther again today. The place was filthy. I'm not sure how it would have gotten so badly so quickly. Esther doesn't seem to keep be keeping herself clean either. It's almost like she didn't recognize us. Her appointment is tomorrow. Jenna's worried she might have to go into care. I'll keep this documented. Ho I hope Ruby doesn't have to see her like this. We'll check the attic now. Oh. Alrighty there, calm down, rabbit. Fucking rabbit's getting all aggressive. 
We all know what we do with aggressive bunnies now, don't we? He goes back to bad dragon dildos. Jesus, okay, that was a little too close. This rabbit likes to linger way too often around where you are rather than, you know, anywhere fucking else. Hey, look at this thing. I have to move. But he's just lingering. I can't move anywhere if he keeps doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Again, there's something about that towel on the floor. As of recording this, Aster is not in the hospital. Her neighbors called the police in the early hours of the morning because they could hear her screaming. She'll be there for a few days. We've told Ruby that she had a fall and she's okay. We're waiting for on a diagnosis. Where else could tapes be? Oh, I got here. September 17th, we took Ruby to the hospital to see her nana. Esther made a soft toy for her called Mr. Hop, a small rabbit. Esther always knitted her clothes and toys. Ruby was thankful, but I must must admit this toy does have a look look to it, something quite unsettling. So Hop... Hop, uh... Possessed Grandma... Possessed Grandma to be fucking weird, and then made her make a toy um so he could it's sort of like the 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 uh the fnaf game like what sort of happened with the rabbit in the fnaf vr game with the whole ending being if you get all the cassette tapes it takes possession of your body sort of shit mm. oh. no you don't fuck off we still haven't found a key that would go for the parents room I was a little close. Jesus. Calm down there, god damn. Oh my, really? They tell- Okay, fine, grab me. What you gonna do? Fuck you. I wanna see if it can grab me. That's fucking... Epilepsy warning, seriously. Doesn't even grab me. SMH. There we go. September 19th. Oh, the anniversary is around that. I don't know, it was April 18th, was it? We just called Esther passed away in her sleep. The doctors couldn't give us a diagnosis and even said this sudden passing is bizarre. We'll have to tell Ruby when she gets home from school. This isn't going to be easy on any of us. Alright, now I have to wonder where the fuck the sixth one is. I'm going to presume... Oh, Nana looked into the fires of hell and she saw me. She saw a fucking rabbit? Okay. Oh, jeez. Well. Definitely, definitely, uh... Yeah. Fuck you. September 22nd. Ruby says Mr. Hop Toy creeps her out, but it's the only thing she has to remember her grandma grandmother by. I keep hearing bumps in the night like somebody is walking around and is scaring Jenna and I. I keep a handgun in the safe, but I'm considering keeping it closer to me. We lock that room so that Ruby can't get to it. Jenna keeps the key under the houseplant in the hallway, I think. So, even the parents are creeped out by the rabbit. But when she says she doesn't want it in a room, she, they're forcing it on her because it's a keepsake from the grandmother. What kind of stupid logic is that? Hey, the, your toy kind of creeps us out too, but hey... You know, you can keep it. You know, our our precious daughter. Yeah, you, you can keep it. It's not this one. Yeah, you can keep it. Don't worry about it. We we don't like it either. We don't want it. We're not gonna throw it out though, cause grandma. You know, it's a good good reason. But you know, fuck you, rabbit. Fuck you. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Um. 
apparently we have to look for a key to get to a safe to get to a gun and we can maybe shoot this fucker and then traumatize and give us little girl some PTSD. Watch the key to like safe to the gun being like the girl's bedroom or something. I hope there's no plants up here in the attic. I, I don't think so. Oh shit. You're fucked, rabbit. You're done, son. I'm gonna presume that the key goes to the parents' bedroom then. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Whoops. Okay. Let's see. Because if not that, there's a possibility there's an end one where we don't see the parents' death and we just wander the basement or the attic and go underneath the rabbit's eyes and then escaping without shooting the bunny. Oh. It's April 18th. April is, let's see, January, February, March. April's the fourth month. So, 04, 18? No. 18, 04? All right. Fine, fine, Mr. Hop. How do we shoot the gun? Press left mouse button to shoot. Okay. Mr. Hop, I got a gun. I have a gun. Close. What if I don't shoot? doesn't even give us a chance. I was, I'm like trying for the sake of all endings, you know? Um, like what if it caused an ending, but instead it was just death. Hey Bonnie, where are you? Shooting him there just seems like it would be expected. So I'm not doing that because that's what normal people would do. So I'll find Mr. Hop somewhere else, if possible. Or maybe we can be a little girl who goes into our bedroom and shoots herself instead. Morbid, yes. Hey, the writing's gone. What if I waste all the ammo? I can't, okay. I click and I don't shoot. I'm thinking of all the variables because I want to know if there's only two endings or three endings. I have to find out. Because I don't want to replay the game like five times. Just, just two times. The rap is just waiting for me in the first floor. Oh, is there anything in our bedroom? No. Well, uh, let's give the little girl PTSD by shooting a grown rabbit that we hope isn't our dad uh, playing a prank on us. Like, maybe it's April 1st, and the dad is just, like, making, you know, just causing a prank. It's just they're, they're just fabricating a prank to scare the little girl, and then we shoot him, and it ends up being our dad, and then we'll be like, it was just a prank. <coughs> and he coughs up blood and then he dies and the girl gets severe PTSD rather than regular PTSD of what would happen by shooting a monstrous demonic rabbit. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. He just fades through the floor, that's normal. Hey, what about the fucking blanket here? It's really fucking triggering me. What? Why the hand? Like, if I spam enough, does it move? It's bugging me. Go, go, go. They're stamina as fuck. What? Okay, so the game doesn't want us running anymore. Ruby, come and give your Nana a big kiss. Or we can just leave. But sure, let's shoot Nana too. I'm, I'm clicking, trust me, I'm clicking the mouse to shoot her. Nana, but I thought you were... Ruby, play with me, Ruby. No. It's just regular death. That's boring. <laughs> hmm. What if I... 
Like, what if I entered the door instead? I don't know. Eh. What? I guess I have to shoot that arm? But I can't while sprinting? Shoot? We're not shooting anymore. What? Um, no, she's not, she's seriously not shooting anymore. I think it's bugged. Fuck me. I... Legit, I'm, I'm not shooting anymore. Well, that fucking sucks. If true, that means I, I'm, I'm bugged. No, wait, what? What? Why did hitting the down button and the shift cause it to go into the main menu instantly? And then I hit new game? Why? I didn't hit escape. I did not hit escape. So all my progress is gone and it was bugged where the gun wouldn't fucking shoot anymore. And my hitting down and shift and spacebar, something around this combination, made it so it went to the main menu abruptly. And then my me What the fuck did I hit that would cause that to fucking happen? It's not even... Because I didn't hit... I didn't hit escape and then left click. I, what the fuck did I hit? None of the keys do that. Apparently, me hitting a key that was not escape, my hand was not up there, uh, did the pause and then, or, or instantly went to the main menu, and then me clicking, which just coincidentally was over the new game key, fucked my entire game over. Fantastic. But, and, and the game was bugged anyway, so even if, if I had to shoot the black arms, I couldn't have, so I couldn't have even proceeded. So fuck me, whatever. I'll try to do the little basic shit that I was saying I would do, such as not see the parents. If you can't proceed... Okay. If I cannot proceed... It doesn't even make any noise. The game's just fucking bugged for me now. Um... Like... Like, no audio. It doesn't even get detected on the OBS. Um... Now, I'll see what I can do in terms of doing the theories, but I'm not going to look at the parents. I'm not going to try to play the game. I'll do that part two or something. Oh, the eyes vanish. Okay. So that's what would have happened. Okay. Then I'll check the first floor front door and the kitchen before checking on the parents if I can. And I'm just going to fucking leave it there. Nope. Okay. It, lim it makes it so we have to go in the parents' room. All right. We're leaving it here then. Um... I think there is probably only two endings, unless I could unless I could ignore the Nana and go through the front door, but I'm going to presume the front door is locked, and that's just not the exit at all, I and mean, it's just sort of a red herring. So let's leave it here, I hope you enjoyed the bad ending, where we go to sleep. Everything else was just fucking a waste of time, apparently, so what are we going to do? I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a subscriber. The notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Mm.